Corporate Affairs Commission says registered companies that fail to update beneficial ownership information will be classified inactive and will face a daily penalty for non-compliance. Registrar General of CAC, Garba Abubakar, said this during a training workshop on how to properly use the beneficial ownership register. Chamunda Bang reports. The Beneficial Ownership Register was launched by CAC in May to curb corrupt practices and prevent illicit financial flows into the country. Keeping in line with the fight against corruption, the Corporate Affairs Commission is further emphasizing the importance of the Beneficial Ownership Register, which allows members of the public to have access to the names of all owners, board members and directors of all registered companies. Illicit financial crimes have cost Nigeria a yearly loss of $18 billion, with a large percentage of these crimes being carried out by shell companies. In in order to ensure transparency and accountability, CAC has encouraged companies to update their ownership information. What the law says is, if you are a beneficial owner of any company or limited liability company, you have to disclose the information to the company within 30 days of qualifying as a beneficial owner or a person who is living under control. And the company has to file this information with the CAC within seven days. Default making this filing for the CAC attracts the daily default penalty. Depends on the nature of the company, whether a company other than small company, whether it's a small company. And the, comp the penalty will run until the day the filing is made. So if you are in default for one year, you will have a daily default penalty, which is penalty, which is about 10,000 naira for every day, for as long as the default lasted. So this is what we are explaining, that it helps to actually comply. Abubakar encouraged all sector regulators to work with the CAC to ensure that all businesses under their purview are registered with the CAC, insisting that there will be consequences for non-compliance. We have to comply because the Commission will have zero tolerance. Apart from the penalty, we are compiling the list of companies that are not up to date and not return filings. And very soon we are going to strike them off from the register. And the consequence of striking off from the register is any asset or any property you hold in the name of that company will be vested in the government of never can share because it's like a lost property. So until you go to court to, go to, 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 to ask for the name to be reinstated, for as long as that company remains struck off, you will not be able to access your funds in the bank. You will not be able to do any contract. You will not be able to enter into any business relationship. So very soon you will strike off the first 100,000 companies. And after one month, we will do the next 100,000. And these are companies that are not up to date, that have not filed annual returns. The Register General said the move to strike non-compliance and inactive companies from the register will begin by the end of July after due notice has been given to the owners, noting that the beneficial ownership register will help to increase investment in the country and save Nigeria massive losses brought on by illicit financial crimes. Chamun Dabeng, Trust TV News, Abuja.